Draw yourself in a sound mind and a sound body. What's with the sun? I don't, it's like, is he like on, on Bud or something? <laughs> but in a way, after the dream I had last night, I thought I could share this episode. And, and I just woken up and it's like 6.44 in the evening or at night. So, yeah, and they're they're showing the second opening too. Might as well just share this on full definition very quick. Such a good opening, it is. This like really quick. I know I'm gonna get copyright for this. Oh, man, I love that so much. So the reason why I wanted to share share this because. Well, if you actually can't tell in the top left corner, which you'd be seeing right now, okay, pay attention where my finger is pointing. Um, hold on. Let me actually do this very quick. Okay, it says here, once more, last day to watch on Netflix, which is tonight. Um, I just had to share a really important character. See? Oh, it vanished. It is beautiful. Why is everybody so nice to me? See, the thing is, I had a I had a really, really awful dream last night, and I could relate to Krona so much of what he actually has went through. The thing is, for me personally, I read this online that if you actually had like an awful argument with your mother, which I did somehow, which I mean I, it happens like once in a blue moon because I'm really close to my mother, right? It basically indicates that you're going through a lot of stress in your life or you feel really pressured that you cannot really express your emotions and you basically just are not holding responsible for it. Or but yet, it's, I guess it has to do with like a family member that you basically felt you had trauma over and that basically kind of represents of the family member that I actually had that molested me, right? And I just had to say, for people that are rapists, they're the lowest, they're like next to murderers on earth. Like, if you're a rapist, then I don't want to say, you're not an, I mean, there's no forgive, forgiveness on your part. I mean, to be a mature human being, but still, you basically murder someone mentally. It's, 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 it's disgusting. And not to mention, this happened to me by a lot of men. So to speak, I got raped by, what's to say, over half a dozen. Not all at once, of course not, but one time a day I got game banged and I was meeting like a couple other men on Grindr, which is a gay app, which I didn't know at the time it was a hookup app. And let's just say that they use it for sex. And it, I guess even once in a blue moon, I kind of get trauma if I meet someone that would basically touch me inappropriately or this being a little bit too sexual. I don't like it. I don't. It doesn't mean that, oh, I'm asexual. I am born asexual. Thank you very much. But, um, you know, a lot of people don't know that it's really hard to actually move off of that trauma. And the funny thing is that my dream that I actually had last night was, um, or video yeah, this afternoon, because I did went to bed like around one o'clock, um, in the afternoon. Is that I actually dreamt that I was switching bodies with Deku from My Hero Academia as him and Ochigo were training with Kaswane, maybe because he wants me to um, have the experience of how it's like of maybe just having a rough childhood because he basically can't concern him himself as a hero. I don't know. Because I mean, I watched a lot of My Hero Academia, right? And the thing is, is that I actually came back home. My mom actually had this um, old black homeless man. Well, he was about age, right? And I get on my mom that like, mom, like, why do you still have him here? Because he could actually take advantage of our house and, you know, eating our food, whatever. And I was young at my mom and I even wanted to get physical of her, not on purpose, right? And I was so upset that I had to go upstairs and Ochigo actually came with me for support because I been going through a lot at home, right? Family issues, if that makes sense. And I even asked her, like, if there's, like, a way I can actually talk to my mom about this, because even though I do yell at my mom at, at times, I still, 
you know, feel awful of the things I said. And my mom knows that because I go through a lot. Literally, it's just something that I have to go through, unfortunately, and always make up with my mom. So, let me actually continue with this clip because I'm going to miss this anime so much when they had to remove it. Okay, I just want to say, he looks so darn cute in that outfit. Honestly, he is adorable. And you can definitely tell by his face expressions. That is me right there. You see his bags on his eyes? That's relatable. I stress out a lot. I don't get enough sleep, right? And with having social anxiety, it's, it's, it's hard. It is. So, I just had those shirters because besides my awful nightmare... Krona is such an underrated character because of how... Okay, that's definitely the late 2000s, if you could definitely tell. I was barely... In, well, I was still in middle school when we dressed like that. I didn't dress like that, of course, but I remember, I think it's some middle school friends that I um, had in my special ed class who probably dressed like that. That's definitely the late 2000s. So kind of like, I guess, you like the punk and um, SoCal type of style, especially where I'm from. But... Um, the thing is that for Corona, though, he suffers from social anxiety, right? Um, PTSD, I could definitely tell. It looks like he suffers from clinical depression, I can tell. And now he's actually hanging out, out with, like, Blackstar, Soul, um, even Step the Kid, um, Liz and Patty, and even, um, Subaki and Maka. And that's what I want to have. This, this is really emotional for me. And so, so, so sorry, mm, I'm kind of like moaning a little bit. He's so hot. Oh, he reminds me of that. What is it that that cover from Gorillas or that that band? He reminds me of them somehow. I gotta add that to my playlist. But this is what I want to have. This being surrounded by, you know, this like people around me. You know, like this kind-hearted friends, regardless of their age, right? Like, their teens or even adults like me, that this basically led to have me, um, company. And that just basically sees me as one of their own. Like, I am someone, so to speak, right? Because when you have, when you go through loneliness for so long, you, you're not used to, like, interacting with people. It's as though you're learning a language, right? Like a dead language, and you don't know how to communicate that with anyone because no one speaks the language, if that makes sense. Like, I'm learning Latin, right? But since I'm not learning for, like, the past two days, I kind of forgot some of the Latin. Plus, no one speaks it, right? I mean, very few speakers out there can speak Latin, but unless you're um, a Catholic, I'm sure. But um, it's, it's, it's just, you know, it's really hard, so to speak. Things are starting to get better for him. So, so. Not to mention, I kind of want to see so stretch. Um, <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> and just seeing his stomach showing. Um. <clears throat> huh? Oh. oh. So I can't help it. I forgot he's wearing that jacket. Uh, it's fine. Anyway, pulling too much on the past ain't cool. Especially when it comes to a fight we ended up losing. You could just forget like that. Monk has been working hard with Corona. I don't want to spoil that by dredging up any bad memories. I get it. Oh. <laughs> I want to cry because he's so cute. I can't help it. Sorry, I'm a freak. I am, okay? Scully admits he's a freak. But honestly, this is what I like about Sweeter so much. I don't know why it's not that popular, except for the openings, but... This needs to be discussed more. This is why I'm sharing another video of this. And plus, uh, two other videos of One Piece I gotta share later. And I might go for a walk tonight just to watch this while I'm out. Because once this is gone on Netflix, it's gone. And I'm gonna be upset. Um, the thing is, as an Arizonan, right? Because apparently, like, this anime, My Hero Academia, even on Tuck and Tyron are really popular here. They develop with, like, dark past or... You know, basically about, like, heroes that actually have mental illnesses. And not to mention with, like, Soul, for example, that, you know, um, has such a, you know, pl platonic connection, you know, with his friends, right? Basically, this is kind of, like, representing my life as an Arizonan. I basically struggle with, um, you know, clinical depression, loneliness, etc. Not to mention, it can be a little bit hard living out here sometimes, especially since mental health 
um, awareness isn't good here. I know by experience because I've been to two mental hospitals. They're not good. The nurses didn't give a damn about us. They only care just to get their pay, their, their, you know, dinero, um, their money. And, you know, I, I even did a review on that place. I might share a video of it later on because they just didn't care about our mental health, so to speak. It's like hard living here sometimes, even though we are really friendly. We're like the Canadians of the Southwest because, you know, I mean, I met a lot of like really, really kind of harder people when I go for my walks. It's just kind of how we act out here because we mind our own business, you know, like, like for me personally, as long as you don't have me involved in a fight or something, then we're good, right? And... You know, the thing is that for us, though, mental health is not really something that we talk about that much. And what Saul actually has said about not drawing in the past is so accurate. I try not to draw in the past. It's really hard. When I, if I ever actually, if I ever have that support system, I need it, right? Because I know that seems selfish, but we all need it. Um, I wouldn't have to worry about, like, my past of being molested and um, people that suffer bullying me and doxing me and telling me, you know, that I'm a pedophile or I'm racist, I want to bomb the Philippines or something, you know, I said some, you know, awful stuff like that, but not on purpose, right? We all say things we, we are guilty of, and not to mention them that told me to go kill myself just because I have a navel fetish, right? And it's, it's not, it was, it was really disgusting, and even... One girl named Lindsay Ho that I still remember that would tell me to go kill myself when she pretended to be a suicide hotline worker by um, just being a bastard of doing a prank phone call. If, if she went that far, she could have really have killed me by me committing suicide. Like she could have attempted murder, right? Because you're 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 bullying me to the point I'm gonna have my own life. And that's 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 really big, and. You know, this is what I like about this anime because these teens are just so kind-hearted to Maka, okay? Like, literally. This is what I want. This is what I want so much. Okay? Just look at them. They're just... They're they're playing basketball with Krona. I want that. Like, this... Like, I don't know. Before I die, I just want to have, like, that type of friend group that we're playing sports together. Or, hell, we might be playing Smash Ultimate on the Switch. I don't know. Right? I mean, especially because you can play up to eight players. I would love to have that. Just playing with each other, so to speak. Right? And just going out and do things. I want that. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So, I should have just named this title My, my Nightmare and loneliness or not having any friends because I don't have any. And creatures, like I mentioned before, it does not count. And, you know, it's just, this is just amazing just to see, you know, like a, a group of, you know, teens that, like, hell, every teen in high school should even have their own friend group because, you know, like, you, you, you never know what, you know, you may be going through without them. For me personally, I mean, I just want to share something, even though the Akratis was abusive. I even had my neighbor downstairs that went um, with me, because he didn't mind, right? To drive up to Flagstaff, which is two and a half miles, just to actually save her from her abusive um, ex-boyfriend, I suppose, that really has anger issues. I think he has bipolar or schizophrenia or something like that. And not to mention, I hate saying this because he's short as I am. Okay, I love being short. I do. But for him, though, apparently he uses his height as an insecurity. I don't like that. Um, you know, just to pick on people. That's not That's not okay. Um, the thing is that we even struggled in the Black King and high, Highway. And thank Buddha that with my, um, you know, my colorful, bright-out, flashing charger, um, the, um, a lot of people actually, I think they say like seven people called the highway patrol or I don't think they called number one. I'm not sure what the hell the number is, but well, I guess you could say number one because we were stranded, right? And this was the middle of the night, pitch black. You cannot see anything. It's like this, literally. And I remember just seeing like a silhouette of a donkey in the back. It was really dangerous because we could like really get like attacked by an animal or something. I don't know, right? Because it's up in the mountains since we're like halfway to Flagstaff. 
and the highway patrol actually arrived. They were really kind, by the way. I even filmed some footage, but I think it's probably from a channel that got terminated somehow. And we got her, or we picked her up from. It was not a mental hospital or anything. It was like a like for people that are abusive, abusive relationships. It was freezing, by the way. Yet it was hot down here because Flagstaff gets really cold. It's like a, a different climate. Okay, or be going to like a different country. It was like probably like a good 101 degrees down here, but if you're talking about night, it's probably like Nangi Wan flag stuff. It felt like it was like 58 or something. It was cold. And, um, you know, we actually picked her up and we just, you know, talked to her was what actually has happened. And, you know, I even, I think I invited her to my, no, I was tired. So, I didn't invite her to my house like the next day because I felt awful for her what she went through and the other way she treated me it's, it's it was like it was like a sacrifice of my my mental spiritual health that's what going to do all that so I just wanted to just be quiet once more Oh, so <clears throat> sorry. <sighs> I agree. Man, that's what I need right now. And that's why I should love the title cards. I love how she has a question mark in the end. But yeah, this is what I really want to actually have. And I'm just doing this as if we're a copyright because I'm not how sure how strict they are, but I'm just trying to enjoy this. So. Other than that, um, you know, this is something I just want to share, and I just had to say, am I the only boy that thinks so looks handsome in his, um, ball outfit? Huh? Not Maka, how cute. <laughs> Yeah, and what she mean by partners, not by couples, but by friends, right? A lot of people get that mixed up. This is what I like about this anime, because it doesn't focus on romantic relationships. This is platonic relationships, right? For anyone that's in a spectrum, I definitely w would tell where, you, where, you, um, where you're coming from, if you basically relate to me, because this is what I want, honestly. Would I like to date a boy in my life? Perhaps, but the thing is, I want that close companion. It's just, I know it's a little bit weird. Like, just someone that I can just bond with, with nothing, like, no sex involved, and, you know, just sharing my emotions with them. This is, this is, uh, this is, this is what it's like being asexual when it comes to watching this anime. And plus, I got my, you know, you can't see it because my house is dark, I got my asexual flag in the background. So, yeah, um, just let you know. Yeah, I'm asexual. I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to say this, in the 1% of human beings that are born with their sexuality. It may not seem much, but there is supposed to be 70 million of us. So, yeah, that's something. And another scene I want to share. Yo, what are you hanging out over here for? It's a party. Let's have some fun. I'm scaring him. Oh. What was that for? Go, Maka. Oh jeez. If someone's giving you a hard time, you just let old Black Star know. I'll throw him out the nearest window. Hey, he's cute. Sorry. Why is everyone so nice to someone like me? Oh. Simple, Krona. That's just what friends do. Oh, so. See, this is what I really want so badly. Honestly. I mean, we all need this in our lives, literally. Like, this should be mandatory, not like, you know, like, um, romance or anything. This is platonic. A lot of people don't understand that, especially since, you know, considering how rare it is to meet someone like me that's ace, a lot of people tend to, let's just say, be ace-phobic or aphobic, and it, it's fucking hard, especially in the gay community, because, well, we don't get treated the same, so to speak. We just want to be treated like everyone else. Even though some of us can be a little bit awful, but trust me, especially when we stick out, 
<sighs> and also, I just want to take a screenshot or a picture of this because I'm gonna miss this anime. And just look at Saul. It, it makes me smile just seeing him smiling like that. He's so handsome. I damn it! I can't fucking help it. <sighs> Sorry, he is like the hottest anime boy I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> him. Stuff is brat. And that that's gross. Gross is right. Oh, the saliva. But yeah, we all need that. Literally. And you know, look I just also want to say, okay, first of all, that is like the cutest moment in Soul Eater ever. Seeing Krona smiling like that. As the person that has trouble smiling myself, I mean, I don't smile my pictures. I literally don't. This is what I want to actually have without expecting it. So I put, I'm just trying to avoid it for copyright. Just look at so smiling. I, 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 I want to see that for anyone that goes with depression. Literally, we all need to feel that way because depression is a fucking bitch. And, you know, it kills you. It de Well, it can kill you, yes. Because I have went through that for... I think a decade now, I had depression for as long as I can remember. It's, it's not fun. You know, it's like living with, like, cancer. But... I don't mind cooking. It's worth it for someone with an appetite as big as Ragnarok's is. <laughs> see you later, then. Bye-bye! I'll see you tomorrow. See, that's what we need. And not to mention his mama's a fucking bitch. So, if I can actually share this really quick... She, she, I want to, f oh my, oh, sorry about this. She is an abusive mother. You worry? Does that mean you're here to bring me back with you? Oh no, you should stay in the academy and continue your work as my spy. Yeah. What are you talking about? A spy? Me? There's no need to be so modest about it. That's why you infiltrated the DWMA. She's horrible. She basically used her own son this whole time just to get what she wants. That is being in an abusive parent. And I just say for anyone that was in an abusive um, household, my heart really goes out to you because, I mean, I've never been in abusive households, but let's just say for a family member that molested me, it's fucking hard. And look at her face. It's fucking ugly. Okay, that's a little bit much. But, I mean, this is the longer being ugly, but like, this is like evil ugly, if that makes sense. But yeah, I just thought I could actually share this. You know, I'm talking for like 23 damn minutes now because I love this anime and it's going to be sad, um, heartbreaking when it goes away. Or it will, will be leaving us for Netflix. So other than that, I just had to share this and hope to boot this doesn't get blocked. Because I know this show like more than 10 seconds for each clip because I'm trying to like really enjoy this experience of Soul Eater before it leaves Netflix. And... You know, it's just one of my favorite animes I've ever watched. Literally, it has to be in the, in the top three, so to speak. So, other than that, I just wanted to share this. I probably will screenshot this too. Oh, let me actually back this up. Because, um, you know, it just taught me a lot when it comes to, like, trust issues, mental health, and, you know, social anxiety, and... You know, just building bonds or platonic connections for people, it's, it's, it's hard. Especially on Corona's part. So, other than that, this is something I just want to share, and... You know, I, I just feel awful for what Krona actually has to go through of her, his mother, pardon me, because he is a boy, of course, that basically have abused him when he's a little boy because of how he supposed to actually ha um, learn his powers um, as a meister with his death scythe and disordering him around and doing things. That's not what a mother, or hell, even a father should be doing. Honestly, it's, it's not appropriate. And... You're just gonna be like killing your own child mentally by doing that. It's it's not right. But other than that, I just wanted to share this and hashtag Soul Eater or Soul Pride. I don't know why I'm calling it that because I'm a Soul Eater fan and well, I can relate to this anime. It's so underrated. And also, just to be off topic, YouTube should be about broadcasting yourself, not 
um, scamming yourself. I don't know. What I'm just trying to say is that YouTube's becoming all about like scammers and people that just care, you know, about money or whatever. And oh, I I'm guessing just feelings appear for being popular. And that's probably why I want to share this because I could relate to Sweet a lot. And I know I'm just sharing a, a little link review, but I just like this anime and I thought it'd be fun to actually share it. <sighs> oh yeah, that's why I need to watch this, the third season of The Circle. I haven't seen that yet. In The Hollow? I didn't even finish watching the last episode yet. Ugh. And The Last Kids on Earth. Jeez. Okay, I'm being off topic, sorry, but I watch a lot of kid shows on here. Yeah, it's from my autism, I guess. <sighs> 